So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and last week we released a video on iPadOS 15 and how well Microsoft Office worked on the iPad Pro with the Beta 1 iPadOS 15. And we went over Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint Word, and then the Microsoft Office application. And then you guys obviously wanted more. That video is doing super well and I'm gonna make a lot more videos like that that appeals to people that wanna use their iPad Pro as a business professional to get you know emails done, Word documents done, Excel files, things along those lines. And today, in part two, we're gonna be going over another three applications. So we're gonna be going over Microsoft Outlook, so the email client, Microsoft Teams, which is their chat, video chat client, and then also we're gonna be going over Microsoft OneNote, which is their note-taking software. So we're gonna talk about them at a high level, kind of see their functionality, see how they work with iPadOS 15, if there's any glitching, any bugs to report or anything like that, and then also see if anything has improved with these, with the addition of iPadOS 15, especially from a multitasking standpoint. I'm curious to see if maybe Microsoft Teams will allow you to video chat and have another maybe Word document or OneNote document open to take notes on the side. Because as of iPadOS 14.7, you cannot video chat and also have a secondary application at the same time, but we're gonna find out if that's even possible. But without further ado, let's get into it. So let's get right into this video, everybody. Like I mentioned, we're gonna go over three Microsoft applications. We're gonna be going over Microsoft OneNote, Microsoft Teams, and then Microsoft Outlook. And we're gonna have a OneDrive episode coming after, but I really wanna make sure that the OneDrive episode is concise and it's gonna talk a lot about file management on the iPad Pro as well. So we're gonna avoid that one for today. But to start off, we're gonna first off do what we did with the last video. We're gonna open all these up and see how quickly they open with the M1 chip. Because as you can see, I'm trying to pull up multitasking and nothing is there. So they're not open. So let's open up Microsoft OneNote. Opens literally instantly and you can work immediately. So you can see immediately it opens, which is freaking awesome. Now let's try Microsoft Teams. Also pretty much immediately, let's go into Microsoft Outlook. Boom, pretty much immediately. So you don't have to worry about the app taking forever to open, it needing to reset. And again, if, especially if you're, you're on the M1 iPad Pro, this thing is gonna freaking fly by these Microsoft applications. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna dive into Microsoft OneNote, see exactly what it's about, see how it works with cursor support, see exactly what the functionality is like with iPadOS 15. So here you can see that it does adopt that cursor support. You can see that you can undo stuff, redo stuff, no big deal. The cursor hovers over all the different options all the way at the top. Perfect, you can full screen it, minimize it, get all your notebooks and all that good stuff out there. So overall, it works as advertised. Now let's see what kind of options we have. So here, you just have your classic options. So this will be a test. Don't forget to sub. So that is awesome. And then, so I do wanna try the Apple Pencil. So if you grab your Apple Pencil and just tap on the screen, it seems like it doesn't write. So you do need to click on the draw button to then tap on the screen and then draw, or no, maybe tap here. Okay, press done. And now I can draw and you can move around. And what I do like about Microsoft OneNote is the ability to have an infinite notebook, right? So for instance, you can see that here, we're gonna do a circle, and then if I zoom out, that circle gets smaller, and now I can draw a bigger circle and continue to zoom out. So the idea is to have an infinite canvas with Microsoft OneNote, which is something that I know Apple Notes doesn't have, which I wish they did. So like I said, so this is perfect for if you're drawing big diagrams and you're drawing, like I said, maybe organizational charts, Venn diagrams, things like that, because you can zoom out zoom back in, get really granular, press, you know, make sure that you're writing everything how you're supposed to, then zoom out again with your fingers and you're good to go. And then we put the Apple Pencil down and the transition is pretty seamless. And then to get out of the actual note-taking portion with your Apple Pencil, you just click anywhere on the screen with your mouse and you're back into typing mode. And you can see how small it is because of how zoomed out we are. So we have to zoom back in and then you can see exactly what we're typing, right? So that's good to go. And then in terms of inserting things, you can insert tables, you can, select exactly how big you want them, insert more, delete some. So we go back to insert, you can insert pictures, insert stuff from the camera, online pictures, you can add audio recordings, files, insert PDFs, links, add equations if you want to, add dates, show meeting details from other meetings, and then of course, get creative with it, maybe add a sticker or something. So if you click on here, you got a little sticker right there. And then the draw functionality, like I said, is pretty similar to Apple Notes besides that infinite canvas. So like I said, if you want to draw, you can draw whatever you want. You can insert shapes. So if I want to draw a square, and then I can also do ink to shape, very similar to how Apple does it on their Apple Notes. So if I want to draw a circle, it draws a perfect circle. If I want to draw a triangle, it draws a perfect triangle, but it only does that if your ink to shape is turned on. If I turn that off, 
and try to draw a circle, it's gonna leave that ugly circle the way it is. So that is Microsoft OneNote, and then when you're done with these, all you have to do, you can export them the way you want, so you can copy links, send a copy of a page, invite people to it, you can export it however you want, so you can sync, add quick notes, edit view, navigation, enable class notes, export data, decide what exactly is being exported. So Microsoft OneNote, if you're in the Microsoft ecosystem, this is your best option because it syncs across all your devices and it's a beautiful application to have. And then also, if you wanna go into view, I know a lot of people like to have their college rule notebook style. So all you have to do is go to paper style, tap on the lines and you're good to go. And then I personally, I'm a big fan of grid lines because I remember back in the day, you used to love the grid notebook, especially for math class, to be able to do your arithmetic correctly but grids are also available and that's beautiful to have. So that is Microsoft OneNote in a nutshell. The next thing I do wanna test out with Microsoft OneNote is the multitasking. So let's swipe down from the top. First off, let's see if we can have a second instance of OneNote. Doesn't seem like we can. So multiple windows not supported with OneNote. So let's try to open up just a random Safari window. So it works on a side-by-side -side multitasking with a separate instance of an application, but you can see that I cannot have two OneNote pages open at the same time, which is a little bit you know, discouraging because I do know people that like to manipulate their data and move stuff around depending on what notebook you're on, right? So multitasking is a no-go for Microsoft OneNote for multiple instances. So again, let's open up, let's say Microsoft Outlook. It does work with another Microsoft app, but not with its own. So now let's go into Microsoft Teams. I know Microsoft Teams is a big deal for a lot of people. And one of the biggest things that's been a deterrent for a lot of these video chat applications like Zoom, Teams, Skype, all these applications is that the second you go into multitasking in the middle of a video, then that video turns off. So I'm gonna put over a little overlay of something that I recorded earlier, and then you can see that in that recording, when I go into multitasking with Microsoft Teams, my visual, so my video, even though the call is still going on, my video gets turned off. My audio stays on, but my video turns off no matter what, which is kind of annoying because that means that if you're in a video chat, or a video conference call and you wanna take notes but keep your face on there, you cannot do that with Microsoft Teams. You can stay on audio only, so if you're okay with that, then you can take notes, but like I said, you cannot actually video chat and take notes at the same time. But outside of that, Microsoft Teams is exactly as advertised. It's a great chat tool, great for video chatting as well. Center stage does work inside of Microsoft Teams, which is awesome, so you can move around and the camera will follow you, so that's really cool. You also have access to your full calendar, you can make calls, you have access to your files, depending on what you share with Microsoft on your Microsoft account. And you can see that it also adopted all that 13.4 cursor support, so that's awesome. If you click on what's new, you can kind of see exactly what all their updates have been doing, and it's awesome what they're doing. They're trying to get as secure as possible. But overall, Microsoft Teams works on the iPad Pro. Like I said, the video chatting feature on multitasking is a little bit iffy, but if you want to multitask with another application, another Teams, you can't. So having another Microsoft Teams window is not possible, but if you wanna move this over, maybe open up a OneNote, then you can. So let's say if I wanna, let's see if I can manipulate some of this stuff. So if I wanna grab this, Control C, move it over here, then yes, it does copy. So your shortcuts work, everything works as advertised as long as you can get the side-by-side -side multitasking window going. And if you click on your shortcuts menu, you can see that you have all your shortcuts for Microsoft Teams. And then if I click over to Microsoft OneNote, hold down the command key, I now have all my shortcuts for Microsoft OneNote. So that's cool to have. We have our shortcuts, you can learn them, that's awesome. And now let's get an overview of Microsoft Outlook, right? Microsoft Outlook is the email client for Microsoft. A lot of people do use it. I know a lot of people love Microsoft. And you can see that Microsoft Outlook has actually gotten so much better from a UI perspective, especially on the iPad and especially on Mac OS, right? I don't know why Microsoft took an initiative to really kind of emphasize the Apple user of Microsoft but they really did and it's been paying off because Microsoft Outlook is amazing. So again, it has that 13.4 cursor support. You have your menus, your you know your drafts, your sent, deleted, junk, everything that you would need here. You have your settings down here so you can add as many accounts as you want, connect as many storage accounts. So if you don't use OneDrive and you wanna use your Google Drive account through Outlook, you can do that. And then Microsoft does break down your inbox into focus, which is usually emails from people that you wanna to respond to and then everything else, which is usually just notifications or newsletters and things like that. So that's cool to have. And then down here, you can search based on anything, based on contact, content, images, anything like that. And then you do have your calendar in here ready to go, which is awesome. So now let's check if we can have another instance of Microsoft Outlook, click on Outlook, and yeah, you can. So lo and behold, Microsoft Outlook out of the three that we spoke about today is the only one that allows you to have multiple instances of that application. So if I wanna maybe move this down, open up another Outlook, 
Now you can see that we have this shell feature down here. So all the instances of Microsoft Outlook are available and we can add as many as we want and maybe grab this one and move it over here. So like I said, multitasking on iPadOS 15, even though it doesn't look that different from a function standpoint and from a touch standpoint, it's, it feels easier. So it does feel a little bit more intuitive, a little easier, a little bit more efficient. But again, we're still not getting more than just the two side by side windows, which I wish because I know that I am Patrick, he mentioned that he would love to have a third side by side window and then avoid all this slide over stuff. Because slide over, not a big fan of slide over. So if you want to try to actually pull up a slide over view, let's pull up here. Let's grab a OneNote, see if this works. You can pull up OneNote on slide over and then manipulate it as you can see, but you can see that it's a little bit broken. Right? It doesn't really know what's going on with such a little form factor on like the iPhone size screen. But again, it is an option and then we can just get rid of it. So those are the three applications that I wanted to go over. Like I said, Microsoft Teams, OneNote and Outlook. And like I keep mentioning, Microsoft is getting a lot better, especially on the iPad Pro and on Mac OS because Microsoft is realizing that there's a big user base, a big Microsoft user base on Apple products. And I think they just gotta take advantage of it. And it's only gonna get better over time. So. Let's get out of this view and go to the normal view. So as you guys saw, there's a lot to like when it comes to the Microsoft Office suite on the iPad OS 15 and the iPad Pro. Everything has gotten a lot better and Microsoft seems to have really put some effort into the iPad applications because I guess they see that a large user base or a large amount of their consumers want to use their iPad and use Microsoft on the iPad because they're business professionals. They're in the enterprise world. They're in the sales world. They need to have their Microsoft suite running at all times or in conference calls all the time. So being able to run the Microsoft suite on the iPad Pro and run it efficiently is something that we've always wanted and it's gonna to continue to get better. So the things that are still a little bit deterring, obviously Microsoft Teams, you can't have the video open while having a secondary multitasking window. You can still have the audio on and take notes, but your video turns off the moment you go into multitasking. And then just overall better efficiency with multitasking. But again, that's not a deterrent on Microsoft, that's a deterrent on iPad OS 15 and Apple software. Like I wanna be able to have five, six PowerPoint applications open and be able to move them around and manipulate them how I want or have you know three or four OneNote files open and copying data from the OneNote file over to a Word document or something like that. And it's, it's very inefficient when you have more than two applications open at the same time. So again, I think that's more of an iPadOS issue than a Microsoft issue because if iPadOS opened that up to developers, then I think Microsoft would jump all over it and giving us those floating windows and being able to have four or five different instances of the application open and visible at the same time. But that's my two cents. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and you guys can see that Microsoft does work extremely well on iPadOS 15 with a couple limitations. But if you can get over those limitations, then you don't really need a laptop. But if you need that efficiency with multitasking and having multiple windows open, then maybe it's not quite there to be your main Microsoft Office device. But ideally, we are gonna get there very soon. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Comment down below some other applications that you want me to go over. I'm working on a OneDrive episode, but I wanna make sure that I get that as correct as possible. And I know that file management is a big deal. So we're gonna make an episode on OneDrive and just overall file management on the iPad Pro. And then let me know, like I said, any other applications you want me to test out, any other suite of applications. Like I did the, the Google Suite applications. We did the part one and part two of Microsoft Office. I'm thinking about doing the iWorks suite, so the Apple's version of these applications on the iPad Pro, see how they run on iPad OS 15. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys made it to the end, you guys are awesome. You guys are legends. Comment down below. Until next time. Peace.